Hey guys, it's Bianca and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I've decided to test out Essence's new collection. I have got a whole box of goodies that I got from Take A Lot to test for you today. If you want to see how I created this look, carry on watching. So I have a massive box from Take A Lot. Yes, I did order most of the products from Essence on Take A Lot purely because Essence is so popular in my country and in Durban. So whenever I go there, it's like a ghost town and they never have my shade, they never have what I'm looking for. So I just popped onto my local Take A Lot and I saw everything and they had in my shade and I got majority of their new collection. I think it is their spring collection if I'm mistaken. Um, yeah, so the first thing I was really excited to try out was their primer because I've never seen Essence have a primer. So this is what it looks like. It's called the Fresh and Fit Awake Primer Healthy Glow Pore Minimizing Effect with a Vitamin Complex and Cranberry Water. So this is what it looks like. I am super, super excited to try it out because, like I said, um, I've never actually seen a primer from Essence. So this is, it's still sealed. I haven't touched it. I'm so excited. So let's just give it a smell. Oh, it smells like a moisturizer. So, okay, I'm just gonna put. And you know what's so funny? This is like. It's like healthy glow, and I have the oily skin. <laughs> this is gonna be fun to see how it glows out. It's like a moisturizer. So, um, I don't know what exactly it's doing for my pores. Mm. It is very hydrating though, so I suppose that's how you would get your healthy glow. I'm not just sure about pore minimizing, but that's for another day when we're not having really big pores. Do you find that your pores change? Like on some days my pores are bigger and some pores are smaller. Do you know about your pores? Hmm. Okay, and the next thing I'm really, really excited for is the Fresh and Fit Awake Makeup Healthy Glow with Vitamin Complex and Cranberry Water Foundation. I have the shade Fresh Ivory. It is the lightest shade. The only thing I will mention about Essence is that because they are European based, they don't have a wide collection of foundations. So I think it's about four or five shades, um, which is not amazing, but I'm hoping that they do bring out more shades because, I mean, hello. We live in South Africa, we have so many different shades ranging from pale like me to dark gorgeous ladies. Now the description says it's breathable texture with a wake up effect that lets your skin healthy glow, contains a complex of vitamin B3, E, pro vitamin B5 and cranberry water, medium to high coverage without mask effect. Now that is a very high claim. Medium to full coverage for essence? What even is that? I have tried most of the essence foundations and they are extremely light coverage. So I'm just going to put this on a brush and then even dampen my beauty blender but we're going to, we're going to use a brush today um, because it's so thick. So this is two pumps, this is what it looks like and I'm just going to put it all over my face. This smell is amazing, it doesn't like, you know that smell you get from foundations like Maybelline and Revlon, they all smell like extremely chemical, this smells really refreshing so far the coverage is really really good coverage tested on me is a big thing because I have pale skin and when I get spots or dark marks you can see them so so easily but this is actually really good so far so this costed me I think 99 Rand which isn't bad for so you get 30 mils which is like the standard um, pri I mean, well, not the standard price, but the standard bottle like amount you get of foundation. So I'm not worried about what C for the price, which is not bad at all. So I want to see if it builds up, and I want to put it again on my problem areas. This isn't. I don't think it would be a matte finish because it is healthy glow. So. This is quite dangerous for my skin type. If you guys have been around on my channel for a long time, you will know I have oily skin. But so far, I really am loving the finish. Well, not the finish, but like how it feels on the skin. It just feels like a moisturizer, which isn't bad because I like that. 
ghosty kind of feeling. But yeah, you are probably you guys can probably tell it is very very glowy. So very natural looking. I wouldn't wear this on a hot day uh, if you're sweating because then it will look like you work at KFC and you just have like this giant oil stick on this face. I would maybe do this for a night time so that that way you know you're not going to sweat from the sun. Uh, yeah, moving on. Um, so I didn't manage to find a massive setting powder. So I just have this that I bought a while ago. It's in the shade, what is it called? <laughs> Chili Vanilli. So I'm just going to use this to set my foundation. This setting will make it matte, which I'm not worried about because I know that my oil is going to, my oil, my oil is going to break through this foundation. But so far, it's super natural looking. I wouldn't say it's high coverage. I would definitely say it is medium. Then, to go into concealer, I have two different types of concealers. One of them is new and one of them I've been using for a while. So you guys will know that the Essence Camouflage Concealer I use in almost every single video. So, um, I did manage to get another one, but I'm not sure about the shade. It looks kind of dark. This is Nude Beige in 03 and this is 05 Ivory. So I'm not quite sure how it goes with the numbering. Like I think it should be consistent throughout, but I'm just going to show you. This is one of those like pen tip and then you squeeze it up. So I'm going to show you the difference between, oh yeah, that's like definitely different. So this is what it looks like. So this is the camouflage concealer, which is ivory and this is soft nude. Um, I wouldn't put this, let's just see. Oh uh, yeah, it's okay. I feel like, yeah, we'll give it a go. I just hope it doesn't oxidize because then that would be a problem. I'm just going to take that same brush I used for my foundation and blend it out. And then put the excess product on my eyelid. You guys see a difference? I think that worked pretty well. So I think this concealer costed about 45 rand. Not bad for a concealer. I didn't think it did much for highlighting, so I'm just gonna pop a bit more of this light color just to highlight my under eyes a bit more. Then I'm going to set that with my vanilla chili. What is this? Chili vanilla. Such a cute name, and then I'm just gonna set that. That's done. So um, the concealer, it's a concealer, nothing really to write home about. Um, I do prefer I do prefer however. I have I, I do however prefer this one purely because of its colour. The other one is a bit dark, so maybe if you want to go with no makeup days, you can use that to conceal. Now the next thing um, I want to do brows. So um, I've never tried out a brow pomade, like a gel type vibe, so I thought I'd just... Oh, well this is a brow pomade pencil waterproof. So this is kind of different than what I usually have. This is what it looks like. I got it in the shade Bulga. Bulga. It's very dark brown. So, this is the colour for my eyelid. My, eye, my eyebrow. So I'm just going to go ahead and shape my brow. And then it has like this little spooty thing, which I'm not quite sure. I think it's to like brush up or something. I don't think it's the blend because it's not a brush, it's like plastic bristles. Okay. So overall, um, I'm not really happy with that consistency. I think it's a bit too waxy. Um, it just, I feel like it doesn't really do anything for my brows. So I also have the Make Me Brow from Essence. I've had this for about six months now. It lasts. Forever, this is my favorite brow gel, apart from the one I, I say start from Everlasting. If you have not seen that video, I will link it up in the card. But yeah, okay, I'm not mad about the brows. But moving on. 
So, um, if you've watched my full face of makeup using products I hate, you guys will know Essence eyeshadows are one of them. For some reason, I just can't, I can't do Essence eyeshadows, so I didn't even bother buying a palette, purely because I know it's going to be shit because their formula has not changed. But I will, however, kudos to these. Um, these three shades you can buy individually and make a palette of your own. So I just did a neutrals with like two shimmers I can use for highlighters and eyeshadow, a plain white and a blush color. So I'm just going to grab another palette I know I can trust and then I'll be right back. So I'm going to use this palette I got from Everlasting. If you guys, like I said, have not seen that, I really want you guys to watch it because it's a really cool video. Um, I'm just going to take a blending brush and start off my transition shade. I'm going to dip into the shade over here. I did buy other products to use on the eyes, so this isn't just like me doing something else that the video intended to do. Then I'm going to dip into a darker, warm shade and put that on my outer V. So I just did a standard little brown smoky eye and now I have the Essence Moonlight Eyes Cream Eyeshadow. So this is what it looks like. This is in the shade Cosmo. Um, it's a really stunning brown with like a green undertone. For some reason when the package arrived it was like all separated from the edges. I don't know what that means but we're just going to go with it. I'm just going to take a flat brush and put that in the middle of my eye. It is like literally like a mousse texture. It, 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 it's so weird. So it's like a very, it's like an iridescent kind of vibe, which is, it's actually a pretty stunning colour. I love that it has like different colours, like every time you look at it you're like, is it brown or is it green? I don't know. I'm going to go ahead and do the other eye. You just have to take quite a bit of product, I don't know how much putting it on my brush, it's quite a bit. <laughs> Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that eyeshadow. It's quite like iridescent, quite cute. Um, the next thing I wanted to do is I'm just gonna do the rest of my face and then we'll go back to eyes. I got the strobing and contouring palette. So now I was quite disappointed with this because it's only cream and I was really wanting a mixture between powder and cream so I could have something to set the, the, the cream. But um, I don't know if you guys can tell it's all creams and it has a really nice like shade range from like really light to like darkish and then you have your warm tones and your cool tones I'm just going to show you the highlight shades it's the very lighter shades on the palette um, when I first watched these when I got it I wasn't really impressed with the actual highlight shades like the shimmery shades um, yeah I just found them to be very dull so this is what it looks like. So it's starting from the white to that golden color. I'm not quite sure if you guys can see the shimmer shades. They're quite disappointing. So um, Essence, what's up with that? You should have included a matte powder so you can set your contour. But anyway, moving on, I'm just going to take a brush. I think I'm going to go for this middle shade over here and I'm going to use that to contour. This costed me like a hundred and... 
100 and something. I don't think it was above 150, but we're gonna see if the quality is worth for the price. And then I'm just going to take this brush from Switch Beauty and blend it out. Okay, so I might have gone a bit overboard <laughs> with the quality. So I'm just gonna take that Chili Vanilli and clean up my mess. Okay, the next thing I wanted to do is mascara. Now you guys know this is my holy grail. This is the essence of body stylish mascara. It's only six year old and it lasts for ages. Now I didn't manage to find um, lashes that I liked. They do do lashes but they're like really over the top and like thick and really close together and not natural looking at all. But I am however going to use the lash glue which is actually pretty good. So I'm just going to pop some falsies on and I'll be right back. Okay, those are lashes on. I also just put a bit of brown underneath my eyes. Now for the fun put is the Prismatic Highlighter Stick. Now I probably have like 10,000 sticks now. Hopefully this one tops it. It's called 10 Be Unique Be a Unicorn. So this costed me, I think, 70. I will have everything linked down to the Take Out website because that's where I got it from. So this is what it looks like. It's kind of purpley shades. So I think it like goes perfectly with my eyes. I'm just going to do a quick swatch. So it's very wet. So that's kind of disappointing. As you guys can see that. I'm just going to put it on my high point. I don't like that it's wet because then it like picks up on all the hairs. In that madness. Yeah, it's really pretty once it's blended in. I just don't like that it's like almost wet. Not wet look, I like the wet look, but I don't like that it's like a wet consistency. Um, okay, let's see where else we can put that. I'm just going to put some on a, a little brush and then do my brow bone. It is quite blinding though, so that's that, that's good. I'm glad that it's blinding, but I just really don't like the texture of it on my skin. It feels like, I don't know how else to describe that. But then I'm going to put some in the inner corner of my eyes as well. I'm really liking this whole purple theme. Now I had two lipstick choices, and now this is going to be hard. <laughs> Um, now for blush, I'm going to take that from my must-have palette and I'm just gonna... So I got this purple shade, but I think if I put purple on my lips it might be a bit overkill. Um, when I first washed it, it reminded me of like when you're super cold and your lips go purple. But then once you have like paint on the barn and you've got like makeup done, it looks really really stunning on the lips. The next shade we have is this shade which is called American Girl and this one's called It's a 10. So I did swatch this and it's like a super super dark chocolate brown. So I'm excited to see how this looks on the lips. I have not put it on the lips as yet. Oh, it smells divine. It says it's a matte, 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 long-lasting lip gloss. Um, I'm just not sure about the lip gloss part. I think she needs a second coat. <laughs> I kind of love that color. What do you guys think? Do you think? No, I think this will just be too much. I really like this one. Okay, we're gonna go with this one. So there you have it, guys. This is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't give it 
<laughs> Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up before you leave and subscribe to my channel because I post videos weekly. Right now I'm on 196 subscribers so let's get that to 200. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye!